So Writer does come with the ability to create YouTube scripts, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. If you'd like to follow along with me, Writer does come with a completely free plan. I'll put the link down below where you can check that out as well. Let's begin. So when you're looking to create any type of content in terms of your YouTube script, the use case that you're gonna to wanna to use is the blog idea and outline. Now they don't have a specific one for like a YouTube script. They have a few others, which is very nice, but for this one, we're gonna be using this, and then obviously we can transfer this to our YouTube script. Okay, it doesn't really matter where it comes from, whether it's a blog or YouTube, as long as we get the information that we want. Okay, so you can choose your language. You can select the tone. I'm going to keep this on English and informative. So the primary keyword, keep in mind, it's a little bit more than a keyword. It could be a longer sentence or a phrase, as it says right here, for best results, provide maximum input. So for this, I put benefits of email marketing for online business owners, which is pretty straightforward. Like when I say that, I know exactly what I'm talking about. You wanna niche down your sentence, your phrase, or your primary keywords as much as possible so a writer knows exactly what you're talking about. Here's an example. I could say sports tips, okay? When I say that, sports is very broad. Is it ice skating? Is it skateboarding? Is it golf? Is it basketball? Is it horseshoes? Is it badminton? Is it pool? You know, what is it? But if I put golf swing tips for beginners, you now understand, all right, writer, let's focus on golf and everything that's associated with swinging that damn golf club, okay? So as long as you're more niche down and it knows what you're talking about, the better. Another example is like, if you're gonna do ba uh, baking, let's say you want to bake a pizza, you know, baking tips is gonna be different from baking pizza tips. You know what I mean? Like, you know exactly what you're talking about. I think you get the idea there. So the more input, the better, the more specific, the better also. And we have what we want here in terms of creativity level and the one result. So let's let it write for me and see what we get. Okay, we got a lot here. So the complete guide to the benefits of email marketing for online business owners. Introduction, why is email marketing important and what are the benefits? We have some key more, keywords. Email marketing for online business owners and how to improve your ROI with these tactics. How to get started with email marketing on a budget and what tool will help you achieve your goals. What are the top three automation tools in the market? Uh, which is the best email service provider for you and how to choose it with these five questions. Conclusion, just put seven ways. You know, it did cut off there. Sometimes it does that. I'm just gonna delete that. And then there. Now, here is, it's funny where they actually have this. It says tip. To write SEO-friendly long-form content, select each section heading along with the keywords and use the paragraph option from the ribbon. More descriptive the headings with keywords, the better. Okay, so all we need to do here is highlight what it talked about, the section and the keywords. And once we highlight all of that and click on paragraph, it's actually going to create our script for us. So let's do that. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we said introduction. Let's just say, you know, we're talking about why is email marketing important and what are the benefits? Just kind of picture this as being a video. It is a video, but a different video. You know what I mean? So I would be saying something like, email marketing is one of the most effective and ines inexpensive ways to grow your company. It can be used to build relationships with your customers, generate leads, and increase sales. Some other benefits of email marketing are that it can reach a large number of people with a single message, be sent at any time, be sent anywhere in the world, and be personalized to each customer's interest. And just like that, that was a great introduction. If you think about it, if someone's not sure what email marketing is and why it's important, those are some good benefits in enticing someone to watch the rest of your video. I really like that one, okay? Now we have email marketing for online business owners and how to improve your ROI with these tactics, okay? so. Once again, let's highlight this and let's do paragraph. Email marketing is an essential part of any online business owner strategy. It can help you grow your customer base, increase revenue, and improve your ROI. Moving down to the next paragraph, there are many ways to get started with email marketing. You can start by taking a look at your website analytics to see what pages on your site get the most traffic and then create a custom email campaign based on those insights. You can also create an autoresponder campaign that sends emails to customers when they sign up for a newsletter or contact form on your website. This is actually a very, very good tip. I'm really surprised they brought that up because it's good, okay? Uh, so whether or not you're doing email marketing, if you have a website and you realize that you have one specific like yeah, uh, article that's getting the most amount of traffic, this is a really good tip where you can you know, add, you can monetize it, you can add an email opt-in, it could be an exit pop-up, it could be a call-out button, a sticky bar at the top. Uh, that's a really good tip. So if you have an actual website, keep that in mind. It might be useful for you. 
Okay. But anyway, all you would do is just continue on with this, how to get started with email marketing on a budget and what tools will help you achieve your goals. Let's just run it one more time so that you can get an idea of what's going on here. Paragraph. Okay. Email marketing is one of the most cost-effective ways to grow a business. It also provides a way for small businesses to compete with larger companies. I'm just going go to go down here to the steps. So it says, create an email account, blah, blah, blah. Choose an email service provider. Uh, and there are many different features and perks, so on and so forth. It did cut off a little bit, but you can always add more, you know, or you can delete it, you know, and then like three, uh, let's see, you know, set up your auto responder series so that your leads get your automated emails, something like that. There's also the option. There's quite a few tools in their commands here where if you highlight this, oops, let's see. You can do continue writing, for example. Oh, not that one there. But if I highlight all of these, there we go. There is the continue writing aspect. There is more where you can do the expand, shorten, and append. It just depends on what you highlight in that specific scenario. But these I'm just going to get rid of because pretty much running up there. Now, now something else that I talked about in a, a different video is the plagiarism checker. Just if you want to have the confidence knowing that your uh, content is good, it needs to be a certain amount of characters. So I'm just going to do that at this time. And there you go. No matches were found. Great. Uh, the reason why I only selected a few of those, because I think it's like 1600 characters is the most you can do at once. Uh, so let's right click. Oops, not right click. There we go. More plagiarism. And looks perfect. So there you go. That's how you can quickly create a YouTube script. Keep in mind that if you didn't like a certain headline, you can always write your own headline. Like say, for example, I wanted to talk about more about the follow-ups in terms of autoresponders. I would create a segment on that about the benefits more specifically when it comes to doing that, saving time, you know, putting in an email and having it be sent out every two days, uh, what to put in it, what to talk about, what links to send out and so on and so forth. It's really up to you. But once you get the blog idea and outline, this is really like saying video outline in this because it doesn't matter if it's for a blog or a video, it's still going to be words. It's just not written. It's spoken in a video script. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said, the link is also down below where you get a free account with writer. They do have the free plan. So you can actually utilize this in that free plan to create some video scripts. If you enjoyed this, feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe. I do a ton of tutorial demo and review videos, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.